Does anyone remember Zombie Farm? Recently, I found myself going down a nostalgia trip of all the old games I used to play as a boy. I remember playing games like the first Angry Birds, Temple Run, and Where's My Water to name a few. But there was one game I couldn't seem to find on the App Store. This game was Zombie Farm. No matter how hard I looked, it seemed like this game had seemingly vanished. This was mysterious, as the game was seemingly very popular when I was younger. What exactly happened to this popular title, I wondered. Well, if you'll join me, I hope to find out exactly that. Version 1.0 of Zombie Farm was released on February 9th, 2010. And if you were a kid growing up, you probably remember playing this game on your mom's iPod Touch or even an iPhone 5. This was back during the time when mobile games were in their infancy. Kids on the bus were talking about playing games like the first Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, and Jetpack Joyride. This was, of course, if you can get your hands on a medium to play things like this. Back then, not everyone had access to a smartphone. I was one of the lucky ones, being gifted an early iPod Touch where I spent my days watching Shadow of Israfil and, of course, trying new games on the App Store. One of these games was Zombie Farm. Zombie Farm was developed by Vince McDonald, who took inspiration from games like Farm Build and the charming ridiculousness of Plants vs. Zombies. Zombie Farm took four months to develop under Playforge and was created using the Cost 2D game engine. Zombie Farm was very successful at launch, being one of the most popular iPhone games during the time of its release in 2010. But what exactly made this game so popular, you may ask? Well, Zombie Farm was a mix between Siege and Farmville style of gameplay. You see, part of Zombie Farm's appeal was that you grow crops in order to earn money, much like Farmville. However, the twist was that you grow your own zombie army alongside these crops. This zombie horde can be improved by acquiring new tombstones, which unlock better variants. Or alternatively, you could use your crops to grow new types of zombies. These were called mutations, and depending on what kind of crop was growing, it could come out with an entirely new look, as well as a stat boost depending on the crop. I really liked this mechanic, as it added to the ridiculous nature of the whole game, and encouraged the player to experiment growing new things. Progression-wise, there were classifications such as different types of zombies and rankings based on color, ranging from your starter zombies which were green, blue being a step above that, and red being the highest, or at least in the first game. Of course, on top of all of this, there was a quest system that rewarded the player for completing certain actions. However, as you can imagine, people would begin to run out of things to do eventually. This is where the seasonal updates came in. Much like other real-time mobile games, Zombie Farm released seasonal updates to add in new things to the game. This involved themed items for your farm, new bosses, new zombies, and a nice little comic strip to tie everything off. This added longevity to the game as people would want to keep playing as the year went on. Now that I look back, it's no wonder Zombie Farm was so popular. It combined two existing game genres in order to make an entirely new fleshed out game with its own unique original charm. But what exactly happened to this beloved game you may ask? Why was it so suddenly erased from history? And why does it not exist anymore? Well you see, Trouble in Zombie Farm began around the time when Zombie Farm 2 was released. Zombie Farm 2 was released on April 23rd of 2012. Zombie Farm 2 was sort of a semi-sequel to Zombie Farm 1. It improved many of the flaws the first one had, as well as adding new content in the form of new bosses, an improved art style, and as well as new crops and zombies to earn. However, many people argued that the second game was too similar to the first to be called a sequel and should have been released as an update. The release of the second game also split the fan base, as some of the people who prefer the first game did not feel like starting over or, or prefer the original game entirely. Trouble also began to stew within Playforge as well. It was announced that on October 25th, 2013, that Playforge would be laying off employees and halting development on the game, thus leading Zombie Farm to fade into obscurity. However, like many of the things on the internet, nothing is truly forgotten. Thanks to the wonderful people over at the Zombie Farm Archive, previous versions of Zombie Farm have now been made playable and downloadable for people to install on jailbroken iOS's and iPods that support versions of Zombie Farm. 
This made it once again possible to play Zombie Farm in 2022, the year of making this video. It was thanks to dedicated members such as the owner of Zombie Farm and the developers who run the Zombie Farm archive that Zombie Farm, ironically being a zombie game, once again rose from the grave. Amazingly, they also have the original creator of Zombie Farm itself a part of this group, which was astonishing to me. All of this, of course, was made possible by the Zombie Farm Archive's creator, who goes by the name Brain. If not for them, I would not have been able to make this video in the first place, as these wonderful individuals, along with the people over at the Zombie Farm Wiki, who have made information regarding Zombie Farm easily available to the public, which I greatly appreciate. Speaking of things that I appreciate, I appreciate the journey this all has been. If not for the wonderful people over at the Zombie Farm Archive, I wouldn't have gone down this wonderful nostalgia trip, remembering all the times I spent on that early iPod Touch getting introduced to gaming, as well as the internet as a whole by proxy. I think for many people, Zombie Farm serves as this nostalgia trip. It's the reason why it's being kept alive and why there's so many dedicated members in the Zombie Farm archive. As of making this video, there are over 600 members a part of the Discord, which is simply amazing. I suppose that goes to show us all that nothing is truly forgotten thanks to the internet, for better or for worse. But in this case, I'm very glad that Zombie Farm has once again risen from its grave. Hopefully, in the future, we will be seeing more progress from the Zombie Farm archive and hopefully being able to play Zombie Farm on an emulator or even modern versions of the iOS or Android. I suppose that might be wishful thinking, but if a game as old as Zombie Farm can be brought back from the dead, who's to say what else isn't possible? I'm Harvest, and I hope to see you here again soon. Thank you for watching.